Greetings everyone. In my previous training video I showed you how I got myself from a state of a skeleton to a somewhat normal average body weight and ever since then I've upgraded my routine. I go to the gym now as much as the restrictions allow. I'll show you what I've been up to. Altogether the before and after photos are a result of about three or four months of uh, doing this routine. Now I finally got around to editing the video in August. Now before we begin I've got two glorious updates, announcements to make. First of all, make sure to follow my new health-oriented Instagram account. It's called sharpmind.strongbody. We are reaching about a thousand followers now. It's been uh, really fun creating content about food, health, ideas, values, and uh, connecting with like-minded individuals. So definitely come and join. Follow sharpmind.strongbody on Instagram. And secondly, to everyone who is still healing their eczema, you've seen my eczema success story, and now I've written an ebook for you. Right now it's for free. Take advantage, download it, print it out maybe. This way you have something tangible to follow, like a step-by-step -step workbook. This is what I've written for you, available down at the link below. Now, forward onto the topic at hand. This is my version of the 5x5 weightlifting program. It's uh, super popular, great for beginners. It's a basic progressive overload weightlifting program, but I've changed it a lot. What I did is I took all the exercises and fit it into my routine. Just like the previous routine, this is also just one cycle that I keep repeating. There are no split days, no push-pull legs, not yet. Mm, with gradual overload. So each week I would add about two kilograms with these small discs and let my body adapt to it, get used to it, and keep adding, keep repeating. The exercises are split into three parts. The barbell lifting five by five, the main part. The dumbbells are the extra exercises that target the muscles that are not trained uh, with the barbell. And then with the body weight calisthenics, that's just uh, like a natural overall full body exercise. To warm up, I go for a run outside, on a stadium, on a treadmill sometimes. I don't really like them, but uh, that's an option. Or instead, I just row, depending on which of the four towns I'm in at that moment. After the warm up, at first what I did, because it was so easy, I would jump into the calisthenics first, then go to the lifting and then end with the dumbbells. But now that the weights have progressed, I prefer to jump into the lifting to use the raw, fresh power first, right after the warm up. Then I do the dumbbell exercises and only then, when I'm quite tired, I can play around with the calisthenic stuff. Now I started with an empty barbell, which is 20 kilograms. It looks a bit silly, but this is a long-term game, so I'm not in a hurry, especially with the place I'm coming from. I would like my joints, ligaments, tendons, whatever else to catch up and not just grow the muscle itself, but it will come with time. And this is where I'm at right now. With the dumbbell exercises, it's the same thing. I just gradually used heavier dumbbells over time. This is where I'm at right now. I also train legs now. Squats are not enough. And uh, there's three ways that I train the calves, depending on which town I'm at. Some exercises I sometimes skip, like from the calisthenics, maybe the Russian twist, the double decker. Most of the time I do these as well. But the lifting has become the main thing. With the calisthenics, Pretty much the same exercises that I did at home. They are classic. I finish up with neck training. Mm. Again, a bit strange to do and film in front of others, but uh, look into it. There's more ways to do it, and you should do it. And that's it. And this is my version of the 5x5, just a brief overview. Mm. I've been enjoying it. The results are great. I mean, depending on the day, depending on the lighting, depending on photos and clips, uh, some days it looks really impressive with the results, while other days, I'll see that some areas might be undertrained. I might eat more. We'll see. This is something that comes over time anyways. Still at the start of all of this. But I am quite happy with the results so far. To all of you personal trainers watching, I do appreciate the corrective comments. So if there's anything crucial to correct about the form and whatnot, leave them in the comments. Next up, I'll decide on a split because the weights have become quite heavy. It's uh, more exhaustive. It takes more time than one hour. Uh, if you have a good suggestion, whether it's a push-pull or legs and upper, let me know. We'll see if the government lets us continue going to the gym or um, I'll have to buy my own equipment and do it over here, which is also an option. Either way, thanks for watching. Go lift weights and follow me on Instagram, sharpmind.strongbody. See you there. Surprise flex.